What is up YouTube, it's your boy Trevgoat here, bringing you another Call of Duty Blackout video today. In today's video, I get 14 kills, which is one of the best solo games that I've had so far. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. This is Inside the Mind of Trevgoat, where I tell you what is going on inside my mind as I play the game of Call of Duty. So let's get right into it. So as you can tell by the landing here, I actually don't land in the building that I usually do. The guy I was shooting across that, brick to brick, was the building that I usually land at. Um, so my rotation is a little bit screwed up here. Um, I end up getting some nice hit markers into a couple guys that are running across the street and stuff, um, but wasn't able to finish anybody up. And I have a SWAT in hand, which is one of the better weapons on Blackout. So I was just kind of hanging around, seeing if anybody was going to come out of one of the buildings and see if I could get a kill. So right here in this clip, I actually heard this guy um, running from behind it. It was pretty hard to mantle there. Ended up getting some nice hit markers on him uh, from above. He had no idea that I was up there. Ended up dropping down, getting a nice easy kill. Uh, moving on to the next clip. So this clip right here, I was just getting done looting. I think I heard somebody in uh, the barn over there, and I saw that he threw a smoke over, so I was just kind of kind of wait and see if he ran through the smoke. He ended up running through the smoke and kind of read him like a book. <laughs> he was going to go through the front door there as he as I saw him pop through the window, he ended up having a Kashka right there, so I was able to pick that up as well. So right here, this is kind of a crazy clip. Hurt the truck driving through right here. Get actually a no-scope hit marker right there, um, and end up finishing him off with a headshot through the car. Uh, pretty awesome snipe right there, and I ended up getting a couple more throughout the game here. So right here in this clip, I actually ended up getting two hits on the guy. Um, I was just waiting for him to run up there. I think there was a little like hill that I couldn't really see where he was. Maybe he was still in uh, the water there uh, healing. Um, wasn't able to clean him up, unfortunately, but had some nice shots on him through the water. So in this next clip here, I was actually uh, looking for that guy that was rotating back there. Ended up not seeing him. Uh, the zone was pushing me in now. Um, end up jumping through this window here, getting punched in the back, getting turned on with the guy with level 3 on, end up <laughs> barely killing him, had 12 health to spare, that guy was a little bitch. So in this next clip here, as you can see the zone pushed way over uh, to Nuketown side of the map, um, I actually heard this guy creeping up here, he, I don't know if he heard me or didn't hear me. Ended up actually stopped shooting there. Um, the guy had a trauma kit on and ended up taking a little bit more bullets than um, I was expecting. Ended up getting shot right here uh, while I was trying to get some looting in. Ended up getting the trauma, I believe. Um, so that was huge. Um, ended up seeing this guy rotating over here trying to get some shots on me. Shot him through the bush here. <laughs> um, couldn't even see him. I bet you he was not very happy with that. Ended up getting um, his loot quick. I um, figured I might as well loot him as I'm running down the hill, and this is where the game gets crazy. Look right now, I have 6 kills, 14 people left, um, so not a ton of kills to go for me to get 14 kills. Um, so as I was rotating in, started getting shot from the side, ended up getting some really good shots right here. Not sure why that guy was peeking out so far behind the tree. Um, I wasn't mad about it, got that kill. Um, I thought I was going to die right there running down the hill, but end up being able to slide behind that tree and get some really nice shots off of it, as that guy was super weak. Um, also get some more shots down range right here, end up cleaning him up with a snipe headshot, which is a pretty good shot. So now, like I said, 6 kills and 9 kills in about, you know, 30 seconds or so. And right here, I really just wanted to check the edge of the circle again, just see if anybody else is rotating in. Um, and look at that, another guy laying down on the ground, wide out in the open, not sure what he was doing. Um, ended up getting that kill. So as you can see right here, I still had to push in a little bit. Um, my paranoia ends up going off here in a second. And I knew there was somebody probably in one of those buildings or, you know, even farther towards the Nuketown or something. And I knew that they had to ro rotate, so I didn't really want to get caught out in the open here. Um, I wanted to get closer to these buildings, but I also didn't know if there's people in those buildings. So I didn't really want to rotate too far. I saw this big tree right here. I uh, figured that would probably be a decent spot to spot to post up so now I was just kind of waiting using all my perks and was gonna rotate over to these buildings um, to see if I could catch them running out of the storm if there was somebody in there and I just want you to know I showed most of the gameplay here is there's only 
you know, six other people besides me left. I have 10 kills here, so I just figured I'd show the rest of the gameplay, see how I moved around the map in the final, you know, 10 people. And I actually spotted one in the deep distance over there, but uh, wasn't able to get that kill. He ends up shooting back at me, um, so I figured I'd probably get some cover here to get behind this tree. But also, as I was saying, I didn't really want to, you know, I saw this helicopter down. I didn't really want to push too far in because I didn't know. I figured there were people in these buildings. And I didn't want to get caught out in the open with no cover. Um, and then them just being able to, you know, peek out the window or on the rooftop and being able to get uh, me killed. And I did see one peek out there, um, so I knew there was definitely people. I figured there was probably three or four. I didn't have a sensor dart in this situation, which kind of sucked. And I'm guessing if I would have done some looting back there on some of those guys I killed, um, I probably could have gotten that, but wasn't able to. So right here I do make the push over uh, two brick. Um, I just kind of want to check all my corners here, make sure there was nobody... You know, uh, sitting in a corner. I heard the barricade upstairs, so I knew there was probably somebody either in the second floor or maybe even on the third floor just camping up there behind the barricade. Ended up spotting this guy behind the tree, and as you notice on um, my Kashka here, I still have the two times scope. I really do not like the two times or the four times um, on the Kashka on the Kashka sniper, but that is, was all I had to deal with right here. End up. Creeping in this building, getting a nice headshot on the guy across the street. Um, now that was my 11th kill. Only four other people left here. End up finding my three times scope. Um, and also the sniper scope, I believe, in the recent patch has uh, been upgraded a little bit, so it's actually usable. I was just kind of creeping up the stairs here. Um, I figured there was probably one or two other people that were still um, out here. End up finding one running right in the middle of the street. Not where you want to be. Not sure why he was doing that. You want to at least run building to building if you're um, in one of these buildings. So I'm not sure why he was running right in the middle of the street for everyone to see. Um, end up getting some clean shots, cleaning up that kill. Really wanted to go out there and loot that guy, but I didn't want to be the guy that was just sitting out in the middle of the street. So... Um, opted not to. Ended up seeing one of the last uh, two guys. One was over here in this corner. Get a nice jump shot on him right there. Um, couldn't clean him up with that second. But I knew the other guy was over here to the south as well. As I was shooting at him earlier by that big tree. If you remember. So I kind of wanted to go clean up him first as he probably pushed in somewhere. Um, wanted to go get that kill. And then focus my attention on the guy towards the north. So I'm just kind of rotating on the edge of the circle right here. Figured the guy was uh, down here somewhere. Just checked my back there quick just to see if that other guy was kind of, you know, pushing in at all. Ended up hearing this guy thankfully um, as I do kind of a, a 180 right there to get that kill. He was pretty hurt. Uh, didn't seem like he was that great of a player. Ended up getting the high ground on him so it was a pretty easy kill for me. Um, I knew the last guy was over here to the north as I was just sniping him. Figured he was maybe behind that big rock right there, um, as that would have been a very power position in this scenario with all the open ground. Um, just kind of wanted to stay behind this little, you know, ledge right here just in case. As I was just kind of crouch walking um, over here, ended up seeing him right there by that other rock. I, he saw me too. He ends up throwing a grenade over towards me. Wasn't able to hit me with that. But as I said, this uh, rock was actually did hit me with that. And this rock, like I said, was a, definitely a power position in this scenario. Um, I threw my cluster now over towards the rock. Ended up pushing him over here to the right side. Gave it quite a bit of hits on him. I knew he was weak. Ended up finishing him off with the cluster. Um, that is a 14 kill gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. If you do, please leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next video. Wow, that was awesome gameplay.